So I'm just leaving the coffee shop and it's 9.39 a.m. About to go grab some breakfast with a friend. Um, I just decided officially that I'm gonna go by John Brewster. It's my middle name, Brewster. Um, I'd like to think of it as my potential. Like, on social media, obviously you portray yourself in a way that's the highlights. Whether it be your biggest highs or your lowest lows, you're picking out big moments, or small. But overall, on social media, at least the vibe I get is, it, it, they're the highlights, good or bad. And so to me, when I think of Brewster, my middle name, I see it as my potential and kind of like my alter ego that I can turn to. If anyone's familiar with David Goggins, I think of him right now, or even the Superman Clark Kent vibe of how you can flip into the Slim Shady versus Marshall Mathers, that sort of thing. So when I think of my middle name, Brewster, that's the type of energy that I feel. It inspires me to make courageous decisions and to go for it. My aim for this is to grow a massive community and, and help as many people as they can be the best version of themselves, including myself. Um, so I think it'd be cool to have a name that specifically represents that idea. And to me, Brewster, I feel that energy when I hear the name Brewster. Obviously, John's not a very unique name, pretty common. But when I combine them together, John Brewster, that's going to be me. So, well, it already is me, but I want to make it into something special. So the word John Brewster takes on more meaning with time. Like at first, when we think of Walmart or Apple or Nike, at first, the first day it was made, it meant nothing. Um, it was just a word, just a phrase, just a symbol. But a meaning was associated with it over time through the actions and through the experiences and the stories and the events and the people that had conversations about what it means. And to me, what Brewster means, and my brand name now, John Brewster, is about being your true self and realizing that it takes a lot of courage and you have to confront your fears and have that self-awareness to do the work of what am I good at, what am I not good at, what do I really enjoy? Am I doing this for other people's opinions and other people's approval or am I doing this for sheer joy and for sheer passion of what I'm curious and interested in and what's gonna make me a better person? Like some days I don't want to work out. Some days I don't want to practice music at all. Some days I want to run the opposite way of fear. But the sweet spot and the magic is where the fear is. So when I hear the name John Brewster, I want that to trigger a sense of potential in me to, to call my best version forward, to go get it. Um, so it's kind of the me against me thing. But I want to live up to my own name, my own standard uh, that's essentially me being better than who I was yesterday. And John Brewster is always going to be that, the future me that I know I can be. Not that I'm not content and happy with where I'm at now and accept where I'm at now, but motivating to see that, you know, I could be even more. And I have the responsibility to go do more and make something of my own potential. That's what I'm chasing now. It's a, it's a rat race with yourself. It's just you versus you, me versus me. Um, that's about all I got. Talk soon. So nice out. Another field. In case I forget it.
my shadow. Right here, it? You're asking me where my love goes. That's cool. Just leaving the gym. Blah. Just leaving the gym. Oh, Meg, the painted fingernails. Took a pretty light day working out. I didn't go very hard because I was feeling distracted and creative. So I hopped in the room there and uh, did a little singing. And now I'm just leaving. I took 15 minutes maybe in the sauna. Ooh, sun flare. Uh, 15 minutes in the sauna and then I hopped and did a cold shower and shaved, feeling groovy. Uh, about to do some Uber and make that side hustle for the day. A goo up. All right, peace.